everybody, it is Tracy from Lunch Tech Made Easy, and in today's tech tip, I'm going to talk to you about embedding video in your outgoing emails. Now, I do get asked quite often from people, and it's a little surprising to me, but I do get asked quite often how to embed a video in an email. The reality is you should never embed a video in an email because it is very likely that your email will get marked as spam. And because of this, most email services, you know, MailChimp, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, most of them don't allow you to do that, to embed a video in an email. But I think what people are talking about when they ask is when they get an email and it looks like this, and they see the video in here and then they click on the video and there's a video and they can play it. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. Now, if you don't know how to put a video, embed a video on your WordPress site, you'll wanna go back a few weeks and I show how to do that both using Vimeo and YouTube. So what you're looking at here is a, a page, it's just a regular page on my website, launchtechmadeeasy.com. And this particular video is actually hosted on Vimeo and I have just embedded the video here on my site. So when we play it, it's going to look like it's playing right here on my I site. I never thought it'd be in, in, the, in the space. And it was an interview that I did. It's one of my testimonials. But it's actually playing on video. It's Vimeo. It's hosted on Vimeo, but it's embedded on my site. Okay, so what they did is they, the person watching this, they got this email and they want to see the video. They click on it. They go to the page on my site and then they can hit the play button. So here, this is a fake out. This is just a regular old image. It is not a video player. And what I did is I went to, I found a, an image on this player that I really liked. When I watched the video, I found a, an image that I liked. And then I took a screenshot of that. And that screenshot is what I used here. So I just uploaded a screenshot as an image. Okay, now the other thing you can do is you, these buttons, you know, sometimes you'll see a video in an email it has the big red YouTube button on the middle of it. That's actually a graphic. You can use a graphics program like Canva to take any image you want and put that red circle with the triangle on it on top of any image you have, save it, and then you can just plop that image into an email. What you do though is in the email, you take this image and you link it to the page on your website where the video is hosted, where they can play the video. So if I was on active campaign, I would in my email create a new campaign. I'll just set this all up. What you do is you get into this email and you pull over the image box. So we're going to put an image box down here. And then you upload your image. Now, like I said, before I took a screenshot, you can see I do this all the time. Screenshot, screenshot 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 so I can choose that screenshot and because I, it's a screenshot of an actual video it shows that it has this player but it's just a it's just a screenshot it's not an actual video player but then over here on the right is where I can put the link to my page where I want people to go to watch this video now you could link straight to the YouTube page or to the Vimeo page I don't ever do that. I always, always host my videos on my own website. And that's because it's just too easy to get distracted for people that are on YouTube or Vimeo to get distracted by other videos. And my rule of thumb with whether to use YouTube or Vimeo is that if it's private content or if it's paid content, I always put it on Vimeo because it's a little easier to lock it down. If it's something I want people to find, like these tech tips or some of my free opt-ins, I always put that on YouTube because YouTube is a search engine. And so when people are looking for that content, they're likely to find it on YouTube. 
I don't even worry if it's an opt-in that they haven't actually given me their email address because the reality is that most of the time in the description, I'll offer them something that they will want to sign up for and I'll need their email address. And even if they take, listen to all of my YouTube videos and never opt in and get on my list, at least I realize that they are starting to get to know me and maybe at some point in the future when they have a question, they'll come to me and consider me a resource. So that's how you do it. You just plop in an, an image and then link to the place on your site where your video is embedded and you're good to go. It looks just like you have a, an email right in, or a video right in your email. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below or you can send me an email at Tracy at Launch Tech Made Easy. Bye-bye. I hope you found value in this week's tech tip. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. And if you have any questions or you would like to see a tech tip in the future about a specific topic, please be sure to go to Tracy at LaunchTechMadeEasy.com and let me know. Or pop a comment in below the video here and let me know what your question is and I'll be sure to answer it on a future episode. Bye-bye.